In this video, we are going to walk through how to do weight based dosage calculations for nursing school. We will walk you through a simple step by step process to get weight based dosage calculations right every single time on your nursing school exams. And of course, we have a full dosage calculations cheat sheet that walks you through this simple six step process for getting dose cut questions right every time. So don't worry, friend, you do not need to figure everything out alone anymore for nursing school. We are here to walk you through it. So that link is down below to that cheat sheet. So be sure to check it out. And if you want to deep dive into this six step process, be sure to check this video out right here, along with all of the other videos in this dose calc series here on YouTube. Now our lead nurse on our team, Nicole, is gonna walk you through these weight-based calculations practice problems. So hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and let's dive in. All right, let's get started with number two. You're hanging dexamethamine on your patient. The order says 1.2 micrograms per kilogram per hour, and the bag you receive from pharmacy says 200 micrograms per 50 mLs. Your patient weighs 84 kilos. How will you set up your IV pump? So what do we need? We need how we'll set up our IV pump. So that is milliliters per hour. Then we need our order. So our order is 1.2 mics per kg per hour, and we have 200 mics per 50 mLs. Now we know our patient weighs 84 kilos, so we have 1.2 mics per kg per hour. That is our order. We need to know what conversions we have. We have kilograms here, and we have kilograms, so we're not like the previous one. We needed the kilograms to pounds. We don't need that here. And then we also have our micrograms and we have micrograms, so we don't even need those microgram conversions. So this is gonna be a pretty different one to set up, but it, we'll, sh we'll walk through it together. So let's start with our weight again. We are 84 kilograms this time over one. So we're already in our kilograms here. Now we know we have 1.2 micrograms per kilogram. So 1.2 micrograms per one kilogram, then we can cross off our kilograms there. Then we know we have 50 mLs per 200 micrograms. 50 mLs per 200 micrograms. That's gonna cross off our micrograms here. And we have, we can multiply it across the top, across the bottom, and we are gonna get what we need. So 84 times 1.2 times 50 is gonna be 5,040 divided by the bottom, one times 200. So then we are going to get our answer it has 25.2 milliliters per hour. Alrighty. Then let's move on to number three. Your patient is receiving a dopamine drip. The order states five micrograms per kilogram per minute. Your patient weighs 157 pounds and the concentration you receive from pharmacy reads 500 milligrams per 250 mLs. How fast should your dopamine be infusing at? So again, step number one, what do we need? So how fast should it be infusing at? So we are gonna go with milliliters per hour again. Now let's see what our order is. So we know we're gonna have five mics per cake per minute. So there we go, five mics per cake per minute. And what we actually have is 500 per 250. We know we have pounds up here, so we need to get to kilos. So one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. And we know we have hours, so we're gonna need to get from minutes to hours. So 60 minutes equals one hour, and we have micrograms again, and we need to get to milligrams. So 1,000 micrograms equals one milligram. All right, so let's start again. Our patient is 157 pounds, and let's put that over one. Let's get to kilos. So one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. Then we can cross off our pounds there. Let's get from our pounds. We know micrograms, they have five micrograms per kilogram, so five mics per one kilo, and then we can cross off our kilos here. We have five kilos, we, or five micrograms, and we know we need to get to milligrams. So one milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. Cross those off there. We know we have 250 mLs in 500 milligrams, so 250 mLs in 500 milligrams. Cross off our milligrams there. We have milliliters right now. We need to get to hours. So then 60 minutes is one hour and we're gonna get to milliliters per hour. So let's multiply across the top 
we're going to put it down here. Multiply across the top, we are going to get 11775. And then divide it by what we multiply across the bottom. So 2.2 .2 times 1,000 times 500 is going to be 11. This is going to be divided out 10.70 milliliters per hour. All right, so we check our units. We make sure we can cross everything off. We are good to go there. So we have solved the problem. Now I am so excited to finally tell you that we have a brand new dosage calculations course that we just released. It walks you through everything that you will need to know for your dose calc exam. Things like how to calculate IVs, how to do feeding tube calculations, reconstitution problems, heparin drip calculations, all of it. So if you are frustrated because you have to figure everything out yourself in nursing school, don't worry friend, we've got you. We will teach you everything that you need to know about dose calc in this course. Now the link to that course is down below for you to check out all of the details. Now be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend who also needs dose calc help in nursing school and check out these videos right over here so you can keep rocking nursing school and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I will catch you in the next video. Take care, friend. Bye-bye.